Hey guys, so it is morning time and I have of course Harry Potter on in the background so hopefully it's not too loud. I think I have it down low enough. I have a two-timing tart haul. This is two orders placed together. I placed one order, got a few samples, got some scents that I was like, ooh, I really like these. I had forgotten that I had liked them so much so I had to go back and see if she had some more. So there's a little stack of one that I got seven of because it's just a really good scent. I did do a review of her wax uh, probably three or four videos back, maybe five, where I talked about just how awesome her stuff throws, how clean it smells. And when I mean by clean, I mean I feel like there's no undertone, there's no weirdness that sometimes you get from vendors. What else did I say? Oh, her blends. <clears throat> there I go again. Her blends are just phenomenal you won't get just I don't know you just won't get boring blends with her and it seems like what she does blend even since that I may not necessarily like she blends them with things that make them likable if that makes any sort of sense but okay so let's just get into the samples I have all the scent descriptions pulled up so it might take me a minute to just kind of go through the iPad I painted my nails yesterday this color and it is hard as heck to get this to lay right and look good so excuse my nails they're not looking the best so the first sample that I got is Mind Palace which this one sounded so intriguing to me so silence removed from the rest of humanity stark realization of the need for concentration a surprisingly bright fresh blend of zucchini flour and lettuce and I was thrown off by zucchini flour because we all know zucchini bread but what the heck is a zucchini flower? I, I mean, I've never, I'm going to look that up because I'm curious now. And lettuce, you can kind of guess, but I've never really smelled lettuce in wax either. So there is Mine Palace. This I got in my first order. This one is green. Like if you were to go down and smell like some sort of plant. I don't know what kind of plant, but it's got that green note. I can probably smell a little bit of the lettuce. Maybe a hint of floral. I don't know. I'm going to look up what a zucchini flower is. I'm curious to know. So that one was not my cup of tea necessarily. It, it was kind of a little too green for me, but I think some people would like this. It's very different for sure. Okay. So this is a miscellaneous. I don't know what this was, but it smelled good. <laughs> she, um, oh, I think there's some peach in there. Maybe that was a little bit of that peachy keen thing. So she did a tri-layer tart. That's kind of cool. I don't know. It just smelled good. I've never seen her do miscellaneous tarts. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, but I mean, if vendors need to kind of, uh, you know, if they have a little bit of wax left that they need to just toss in a, in a tin I'm fine with that too I mean I always appreciate samples let me tell you there are some vendors that don't give samples or they give you like one one little chunk of a sample so I'm always happy for samples of any kind so this is what sent me back for the second order is the dark side has cookies this is find it really quickly the dark side has cookies Everybody loves cookies, even the bad guys. Come on over to the dark side. We have cookies and a hell of a dental plan. Lightly spiced snickerdoodle cookies slathered in rich buttercream frosting. Now, this is not one that's normally up my scent. Like I said in the last couple of my videos, is sweet scents have kind of been a turnoff for me lately. But this one was so good, uh, I just had to get a bag in it. Which I will get. It's It's back there, but... You can really smell that buttercream frosting. And it's almost kind of got like a... It, this would almost be what I'd want a coffee scent to smell like. I mean, there is no coffee in here. And it does not smell even remo remotely like coffee. But I think that snickerdoodle kind of makes me think it's kind of a coffee scent. But a sweet coffee scent. So I really like that one. That's why I got a bag in it. Honeydew Amber Fig is one that I don't have a scent description for. But it pretty much says what it is. Oh, and this one is freaking lovely. 
Uh, I think figs I've had in other blends, and I think fig has always turned out to be kind of a cleaning, not cleaning, but a clean type of note. Oh, that is so good. It's like a fresh, not a perfume, but it kind of smells kind of a little bit girly. The honeydew is not strong in here. I think maybe what I'm smelling is amber. Oh my gosh, if she had this at some point again, I would get this for sure. That one is really nice. This one, she uh, I think she was telling me she was uh, doing this one. Burnt sugar zucchini bread. And wow, this one is... I don't even know what to say. Whew, it is potent. I, now, I told her that I wasn't a huge fan of like super sugary type blends. But uh, she's, I mean, I can see a lot of people enjoying this. I kind of wish there was a smidge more zucchini bread in here to kind of tone down that sugar. But, you know, if, if this came up and I found something like to blend it with, I probably, you know, it probably wouldn't be so strong for me. But it's, it's heavy on like the burnt sugar note. So, but dang, that one is strong. Okay, let me see. I kind of... Let's do the Nicola Walker sample. Sampler. So it says, around here we love Nicola, Nicola, I think that's how you pronounce it, Walker. Doesn't even matter if she's one of the most underrated actresses in the UK, the woman is a bloody awesome chick. This sampler celebrates just a few of the best and worst characters she's played over the years. So now I had to look her up and see who she was and then obviously find out she was an actress in the UK. But I don't know. The only one, the only movie I know that she's been in is Four Weddings and a Funeral. But... Yeah, I'm going to have to look into her. Okay, so the first one up, and some of these in this sampler are so good. So the first one is Justine. This is a mix... Ooh, what is that word? A mixed... Cacophony? <laughs> of muddled barminess. Merlot, apple, and sandalwood. If I remember, I freaking love this scent. Yeah, oh, when you think Merlot, obviously you think like a wine type scent. But I am not getting a heavy wine type of note here. It's very light. You smell the apple and the sandalwood is not heavy. This just flows into some beautiful like girly scent. I love the glitter that she put on the top there. I don't know if that's going to going to focus and then she puts them on the bottom just for kicks. So that was the first one of the sampler. I love that scent. Then we have, whoops, Jillian's or Gillian's Knickers. And this one is a sexy playful look at sex as self-punishment and self-loathing. Frothy and sweet pink sugar mixed with vanilla orchid, sugar cane, coconut milk, and soft musk. If I remember, I love this one as well. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm, okay, so the pink sugar is obviously kind of the dominant note. But it's just rounded out by the vanilla orchid, the sugar cane, the coconut milk, and the soft musk. This is a great, great blend. I think this one has been around for a while. She's having a sell too. I think it's kind of died out though because I think stuff is starting to run out. So, but there's still a few. I think some of the wa um, the walkers. <laughs> I think some of the samplers are still available. So hopefully I can get this uploaded pretty quick if you want to check it out. Bonkers but brilliant is the long way about things. Taking great care to pay attention to the details you di don't really don't think really matter, but always do. Incisive, sweet Fuji apple cut with purple sage and mint leaf, a full-bodied experience in internal monologue. So this is bonkers, but brilliant. And again, I love the glitter on that. That is fun. I think this is one of the ones that was probably not one of my favorites. It's still okay. And this is one of, I think, has been around for a while. Just because it's so unique. I mean, it is really unique. You know, and the more I smell it, I do like it. 
I don't really know what purple sage smells like. I can smell that mint leaf. Hmm, I think I'm getting mostly the purple sage though. I can smell a little bit of the apple. That one's pretty though. I think I've had this one before. I feel like I have. I'll have to warm it and come back with a warm review and let you know if I liked it better. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Dog, dogged brilliant bitch. A moment of clarity when all your hard work pays off, even if it is the worst moment of your life and the worst work you will ever do. Red wine for blood spilt, full-bodied red rose to symbolize the broken hearts, and dark chocolate to heal the wounds you've inflicted on your lover's heart. So that's dog brilliant bitch. Now this was the other one that I was kind of on the fence about. Um, it does have... Okay, that's what I'm smelling is rose. I'm not a big, I'm not huge on florals, so that's that's what it is. I, I couldn't put my finger on it because, yeah, I'm getting a lot of rose. You know, the other day when I smelled this, though, I really could smell that dark chocolate and the little bit of the wine. But really now I'm getting rose this morning, so I don't know. Okay, next is Stevie. And Stevie is a mystery wrapped in an enigma spiked with kebab grease and banana milkshake. Somehow there and not there in the same uncaring ways of the universe. Pink sugar, white tea, and ginger. If I remember, I love this one as well. Mm. Oh yeah, that one's good. Mm. Okay, so this one is strong on the pink sugar. But that white tea and ginger just gives it a little bit of a something different. You know, you it's like it smells like pink sugar, but you can tell there's something else going on with the pink sugar. But I wouldn't necessarily say if you handed this to me right now, I could pull out the white tea and ginger. Maybe just a little bit of that tea note. But it is good. Okay. And the last one out of this sampler. Oh, no. Let's see. Wait a minute. Hold on. See how many did I do? There's one, two, three, four. Okay, there's five in that. Okay, so that was the um, sampler. The back here. Okay, so next we have, let me. Wait, and do the, okay, uh, bamboo and white grapefruit. So obviously that's pretty self explanatory. Um, so she has on here. Deep, pithy notes. I need to work on my vocabulary, apparently, because some of these words, I just, I'm sure I'm butchering. Notes of earthy grapefruit mixed with grass and woods. And if I remember, this one is potent. Whoa, yeah, this one it has that sharp note of, I don't know if that's supposed to be the white grapefruit or the, ba um, or the bamboo, but it almost smells like a, no, I think that's the white grapefruit that's giving it that really sharp. I mean, there's like a really sharp edge to this. I love the colors on that one. Oh, that one's so pretty. Nice. That end is strong. I'm not really sure how to describe that one, but it's good. White sage and sea salt. This is light, fresh herbal notes of sage and geranium mixed with darker notes of driftwood and salt for a fantastic, clean, fresh scent. So, there we go. This one was really good too. You get a salt, but it's not really a sea salt. I do smell a bit of floral, but it's kind of sweetened, which is, there's something sweet going on in here, which is weird because I don't think anything in here is sweet, but that one is really nice. Wish I would have grabbed some more of that. That one's a nice, fresh, clean scent. Really like that one. Okay, so Diva. Do I have Diva? Where? I should have put these in order. Basically, I get a sweet, feminine scent. Hmm. I feel like there's like a pink orchid in there or something. 
I don't know. That one's pretty though as well. Okay, peacock plumes. Come on, peacock plumes. Okay, peacock plumes is um, instead of flowers or ribbons, why not deck your curled bob out with a peacock plume and rhinestone headdress? Yuzu and bamboo tempered with teakwood and a hint of lemon is isn't that isn't that color just lovely with your eyes? I like what she did here with the colors. I also really like that she uses the ellipse cups. I always feel like those other cups that vendors use are just crap. So using a bamboo, I am familiar with and I definitely smell that in here. I do get that slight hint of lemon. And I think I can smell the teak wood too. Again, it just everything she does just kind of blends into this mirage of is that right? Mirage? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word I want to use. It just all blends together nicely. I'm not fully awake yet. It's Monday morning and I'm just, I'm not all together. Mr. Carson and Mrs. Hughes. This one's probably surprised me the most. Um, old boobies, the lot of them. Tea and cucumber busts. I feel like I should say the lot of them with a, like a British accent. My daughter could do it. She's good at that. Tea and cucumber brushed with violets. Now this one to me, if I remember, smells like a bar of soap. But when I stick it up to my nose, like the first thing I smell is soap. And then when you just kind of embrace it a little bit more, it really turns it like it's not just like your plain old two dollar and ninety nine cent bar of soap that you can get from anywhere. It's like a It'd be like a boutique soap. I do smell the violets in there. I, I'm familiar with violets. Um, one of my favorite scents is a violet and like vanilla wafer scent. That's a real, those are really good to blend, but I do like violets alone. So there's that. Okay, so this is the one that I got seven in. I got one and then I remember I had had this before and I was like, I need to stock up on this because I need it in my life forever. Midnight Musk, a heady, deep musk with undertones of orris root, fern, geranium, and woods. I don't know what it is about this scent. There's just, oh my gosh, there's just something so... Mm, I don't know what that is. It's almost sweet. It's almost like a sweet man scent. I wonder if it's the geranium. Maybe I do like a bit of floral because maybe geranium ha is more of a sweet floral. Oh, I don't even know what to say about this, but it's like a, a man soap with sweetness. It's just so, so good. I love this scent. Oh, I can't get enough. This I will use like on cleaning days and this is definitely a favorite of mine for sure. I And so I went back after I had gotten some and I didn't remember but I had ordered two more and then I think I just made one order of the rest of her lot. I was like, how many of those do you have left? Because I need the rest of them. So she said she had four so I went ahead and just got all four of them. Okay, this one is this one time at summer camp and if you've never had Becky's Marshmallow, you need to get on that bus. Let me say that again. You need to get on that bus. She's got a good, good marshmallow. Okay, so this is um, this one time at summer camp. Known as Suck It BBW. This is the warm, delicious scent of a fireside marshmallow melting party. Twigs, leaves, berries, smoke, and toasted marshmallows. This is what Marshmallow Fireside from BB Bath and Body Works wishes it could be. And so there's that. Her marshmallow is just so good. I absolutely adore it. And I'm trying to see, I know when I originally smelled this, I could kind of smell a little bit of the berries and yeah, you can kind of smell some of the, some of the woodsy notes. And it'll probably come out more when it's warming, but it's mostly a marshmallow dominated scent. She's just got a really nice marshmallow. Okay, so let's, so 
sorry, I'm sitting on the floor, not like the best. So I got a full bag of the Dark Side Has Cookies and we already talked about that one. So the next one that I got is Honeyed Rice. This one was kind of a jump off the ledge for me. I was not sure what to expect this, but I thought, you know what, Honeyed Rice. Oh, I had asked Becky on the honeyed rice what the honey note like how dominant was the honey and i think she said like a one or two yeah one or two so i wasn't worried about the honey okay so i went on a search because i was like how in the hell do you describe honeyed rice i mean this is such a unique scent that i mean i've never smelled anything like this before in my life so i and it, she did these hearts, which are super cute. Um, so, one of the ingredients in here, hold on, let me pull up the scent description here. So, honeyed rice is an oldie but goodie from our first year in business has made its return. Saffron infused honey and basmati rice. So, I had to go look up and see what basmati rice would smell like, and this is what I found. So basmati rice is uh, it comes from the Hindi word basmat, which means fragrant. Our rendition is a captivating mix of fruity florals and cedarwood, delectable top notes of peach, strawberry, and lemon, followed by rose, lily of the valley, and cedarwood at the heart. Wrapping up this luscious blend is a powder, spice, and creamy vanilla base. Um, so I think you know I don't know I don't know if that's the same, but it's kind of sweet. And, you know, the honey is not super dominant in this. So I can see where it kind of gets the... Okay, yeah, I can smell cedarwood in there. Cedarwood, vanilla. Um, it's not, I'm not really getting any of the fruity. Maybe a little bit. I don't know, this one's just really hard to describe. So then um, I also noticed that it had saffron. She says saffron infused honey. So I looked up what saffron was. Dry, and it says dried and spicy. Just went away. Um, yeah, dried and spicy is the only description I could find. I just looked on Google. I, don't, I wouldn't really call this maybe a little bit of spice. This one's really hard to describe, but I'm super excited to warm it because it's so unique. And um, I know I say things smell clean and fresh a lot, but that, that one really is kind of a different, it's like a different take on a clean and fresh. So I think that was it. I think I got everything. Um, okay, real quickly, Diva. Diva is pink sugar and black coconut. So I think I did say it smelled like black sugar. I mean black sugar, pink sugar. And I've never smelled black coconut before, but whatever it is. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, now I smell a little bit of coconut. Yeah, not really tanning oil coconut, but that's how I can kind of smell it, is I know tanning oil coconut, so I, I can I can kind of pick that up a little bit, but it's not, you know, it's not overly strong in there. So that was Diva. I think I was off on my send description on that. So that is everything. Like I said, I did a more thorough review of Two Timing Tart as a whole. And honestly, I have to say, she's kind of popped up there as one of, uh, probably one of my top five vendors right now. Just after warming her stuff, I really did not have a good grasp of you know, how her stuff warmed and the scents and all that. And once I started warming, I was like, wow, I mean, she's really got a good blend of wax going here because I was getting strong throws. The scents were coming off really nice. Even some of the ones that I wasn't, you know, I didn't love like the scent note particular. Um, I didn't love the scent note like 100%. I mean, it's still warm good and I still enjoyed it. So, yeah. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will check her out. I think the next thing she has coming up is mystery boxes. But if I get this up in time, check out her sale. She still has some of the samplers up, I think, from this morning, from what I checked. I'm going to try to upload this today. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.